Hi, and welcome to my... What? What? Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Anita, and I'm so glad you're here. Today, I wanted to talk about my experience as the child of an immigrant in the United States of America. So I moved to the U.S. when I was 12 or 13, back in December of 99, and I moved here with my brother. My mom sent us here first before she joined us a year later. And so I've been here for mm, a while, like 20 years, I think. And I, I don't really hear people talking about their experience as an immigrant, unless they're talking about how super uber amazing and successful they've become. that's not me quite even though I really expected that much of myself and who wouldn't who wouldn't expect to be like the most amazing um, you know successful person in the world especially after you've moved to the US you just think like the, the opportunities are endless and they are and they are I think what the US does very well is give people the opportunity to move forward into some stability um, and solidly into the middle class okay but but the grass isn't always greener on the other side so when I moved here I was just old 12 13 right I moved here like eighth grade I was just old enough where I had built some friendships I was super into obviously the culture of Kenya because that's all I knew right and then when I moved here, it's right when people are budding and, and becoming themselves or trying to learn who they are. And that's really difficult when you feel like you don't fit in, right? At 13, 14, 12, like that's when you're trying to figure out who am I, where do I fit in? And all you want to do is fit in. All you want to do is fit in. It doesn't matter who you are or whatever. At that age, all you want to do is fit in. So when I moved here, all I wanted to do was fit in. And I tried my best. I joined speech team. And I joined that because I wanted to be sure that I could speak like Americans, right? And um, yeah, so it was just... It was just a tough move, feeling like people don't understand you, feeling like people don't see you. And then on top of that, you're navigating that. You personally, who am I? Where do I fit in? But also trying to figure out how am I gonna become successful in this country, right? And what is the immigrant path to success most times? It's becoming a lawyer, it's becoming, um, uh, a doctor or or what's the third one engineer <laughs> right those are the three like come on do it and you will have the money and it is true you probably will right but will you be happy i'm not so sure but money brings happiness right i don't know i don't know i still don't have the answer so anyway i was just trying to figure it out and and make it and i was being successful when i was doing this uh the speech team and then i ended up going to college for theater which is completely unconventional completely unconventional and obviously there was a lot of people telling me don't do that like you're wasting your time and all that good stuff but I just wanted to try to forge my own path um, so that's what I went to school to do and that was also difficult because you're trying to fit in with people who you just don't fit in with and especially when you come to school with the angle of all I want to do is fit in as opposed to coming to school with the understanding that you're here to learn learn about yourself and learn about others and learn about your craft or whatever field you're interested in so that was hard for me and how you can really lose yourself and there's so much pressure from the outside like you you feel like people expect so much of you that if you fail you are not worth anything and that's how I really felt so when I didn't do as well as I expected to do in acting I really felt like a failure and carrying that shame around me and I feel like a lot of people feel the same way carrying that shame 
of being a failure. Oh my God, not only did I pick this unconventional path, but I didn't even make it. I didn't even succeed. I'm still unpacking that with my therapist, to be honest, because the shame, the pure shame of that, my God. It took me a while to figure out that all that pressure might be there. There might be expectations. I don't know. But the only thing, the only person I have to answer to is me. And my path is my path. And it might be unconventional, but whatever. It is what it is. That was so difficult for me. And I remember trying to look for people who felt like me and never quite finding that. And you you try to fit in with um Americans of your you know same age and you don't quite fit in you find great friends but you just don't quite fit in then you try to fit in with the Kenyan crowd and you don't quite fit in because I moved here young enough that I I'm still considered an outsider in Kenya but old enough that I still feel such a strong connection to Kenya so there was always like this disconnect and I just never found found my crowd. So you feel like you feel like an outsider. It doesn't matter where you go, you feel like an outsider. And how can how can you succeed if you always feel like you're on the outside and you feel like you're never meeting anyone's san standard of good enough? And I battled that the entire time. And <laughs> I'm finally now at a place where I'm like, eh, it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. I I, I still am doing um, my acting and I'm in a career that I'm building now. So I'm finding my balance. But I find that we never talk about how, how hard it is, first of all, to find your place. And secondly, like, to define success for yourself as an immigrant you know and shout out to all the people who like figured it out and made it because there is a bunch of y'all like there is people who move from home and just you know them because you can google them right lupita um execs there's execs out i think the the ceo of essence is is a kenyan woman there's people who like made it and sometimes i let me speak for myself. I see those examples and I'm always like, where did I go wrong? What step did I miss? Is there something they know that I don't? I I still can't like figure that part out because I guess success to me has always been making it to the top of my field, whatever my field is and making a load of money. I remember... <laughs> I remember um, when I was growing up and I'd hear about um, how much money people make and I'd be like a hundred thousand dollars like that is nothing that is nothing that is nothing I thought everybody could be making that money come to find out people are feeding families with 50k a year you know what I mean and that's normal I think I just think we we have to find a way to normalize being normal but is that me underachieving does that make me an underachiever That pressure of succeeding or um, making it or being in business and making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and, and I get it because obviously I want that but so let's take the example of, of um, the CEO of Essence right she's made it into such a high position and she's doing amazing things but for every one of her 
there's like a thousand Kenyan immigrants who aren't doing that, who are working in nursing homes, who are caregivers, who are nurses, who are just living a regular life and are still able to support their families and are still able to do all these amazing, amazing things, but are living regular lives. And I feel like we just don't normalize that. And the pressure of like succeeding, whatever that is, is, is insane. And it can push people to a place where they they just become stagnant and don't know how to move forward and are just stuck, right? And lose themselves. And that's what happened with me. I lost myself and it took a long time for me to find myself again. And I'm finally in a place where I'm building a career and I'm still doing my acting and I feel like I'm finding my flow of things and I'm finding my way and perhaps one day I'll be like, the biggest actor in the world or the biggest businesswoman in the world or maybe not but am i able to support my family am i able to um live my life with dignity yes i don't know am i the only one who had that pressure let me know in the comments please thank you for watching until next time